I can't hear my words over the drumbeat in my chest. But my lips are moving, my throat is vibrating, and Ash's face has turned grayer than the clouds in the surrounding winter sky, so I take it he heard me say, I'm pregnant. Ash's jawline goes rigid, muscles chisel out of his cheeks. Come again? I swallow, wishing I could cling to the balcony's railing to keep upright, but it's colder than the pit in my stomach. I... I'm pregnant, and it's yours. Ash massages his neck, stretching the inked dragon's head. He's grown his hair out these past few months. I'm focusing on that, instead of whatever the hell is about to come out of his mouth. Not possible. I jolt at the viciousness of his words. Excuse me? I say. I suit up. I always suit up. Ash points a finger at me. You can't tell me we didn't use protection. We did, I know. I nod, though I don't know why I'm trying to appease him. But like they teach us in sex ed, condoms aren't always foolproof. You weren't on anything? Ash's gaze comes back to me, a storm of dark blue breaking through the gray. Pills? That IUD thingy? No, because I wasn't having sex. I never had sex before you. The truth sticks in my throat. You're asking me this now? I say instead. Chicks always have a plan B. Always. Ash is back to pointing. Then his hand drops, and he stares through the balcony doors to where all his friends are seated around Ben's hearth. This is impossible. It's not happening. His attention targets Locke, who's on the floor, sandy hair askew from Lily constantly tugging at it. Locke smiles wide as he grabs Lily around the waist and tickles her. The music of her laughter, the kind only children can make, innocent chimes of delight, reaches our ears. I can't be like him, I hear Ash mutter. I tear my attention from Lily, a type of tiny human I might have one day. What did you just say? Ash pulls away from the scene and digs his hands into his hair. I said I can't. I speak my next words carefully, 